Welcome to Mindset, Mood and Movement, a systemic approach to human behavior, performance and well-being. How to overcome limiting beliefs around money. My goodness, this has come up into my domain of coaching so many times and I've been here too. So let's unpack it, right? It's a big one many of us have. Money. Makes the world go around, right? Now, it's a transactional currency that we all use to buy goods and services, but it's not just as simple as that. So let's understand why we might have negative and limited beliefs around money. So one of the biggest things is to separate this out. So stay with me here. So if we think about money, and let's kind of purify it, and I'm going to use an example and a metaphor. Now, I'd like you to think about money as water flowing like a river. And interestingly, we've all used lots of metaphors from rivers for money because we talk about cash flow we talk about using a bank like river bank so we have actually built our metaphorical understanding of money on water flow back long long way ago but you didn't know that so stay with it we're on the flow it's just pure water coming through it it feeds the plants it feeds us water is pure but what happens is it's like dropping color dyes into the river those color dyes are I'm not worthy. I grew up in a difficult environment. You know, people with money are bad. Whatever the belief and the narrative that you or I or any of us have might have goes into that water and it colors it. So instead of being a pure transactional quality of something that each of us can use to buy goods and services and to go about our days and our lives, it becomes about us. And therein lies the problem. So we need to disentangle it, and it's going to help you get through a little bit right now. So firstly, let's understand that money, to give it a purity quality, is like the essence of water. It simply flows. It's simply money, a transactional energy. What the issue is, is our projection on top of that money about what it means. Now, you and I, and every single human being, is a meaning-making creature. We find patterning and meaning in everything, and we ascribe meaning. This is where we get stuck because the meaning that I certainly got as a kid was there wasn't much money around. And that's fair to say my parents were war babies and they grew up with absolute poverty. So, you know, these, these patterns come through the generations. Now, you might know something in your story, how you grow up. Sometimes people grow up with more wealth, but their parents got a poverty mindset or, you know, whatever the messages are. We don't want to attribute blame. Not helpful, right? We don't start pointing the finger that they got it wrong. But know what messages you got at a young person that said this it equals that. Money equals bad. Money, there's not much of it. There's a lot of linkage, complex equivalence it's often called. So what do you link money to? That's my invitation. You're not going to be able to do it all now, but I would write this down after. Money is, money is, money is. That will tell you what you've, you've color dyed, so to speak. So. The beliefs you have around money are what's holding you back. The beliefs that you have are built on your backstory, which already tells us you are thinking in the past, right? You are predicated to past behavior and referencing, which means you will only pull that forward into the present, which is why we can't overcome these beliefs. So we have to anchor in and separate what money is now and the future. So when you think about money, really, it's a transactional energy that we get from doing something. So I earn money from my business. Yeah. So when I do great coaching work for people, they give me money and that's how the transaction works. And it's beautiful. So it's actually a byproduct of the input and effect I have on the world. Now I realize some of us don't have as much capability to have earning potential. You know, there are differences, but actually it's often a byproduct of work and action. And if you're in the business and entrepreneurial domain, what you do, what impact you make, comes before what resource of money will come into your, into, your, into your business, into your bank account. So we want to know that that's that. Separate them out. So start to get your thinking forward. Fear is imbued with it. There's sometimes shame in view with it, guilt about having much money. It's dropping it all away as if you're standing in a river of pure water and realizing that when you unhook the past and you stay with the present and future, then it becomes about how much impact can I make in the world? And by a result, money will flow in into your business and into your account. So it's a simplified version, but I want you to really think about that, separating out the past, 
getting into the future, realizing money is transactional and beliefs are past biased patterns. So when we get that clarity separated out, which you can do because you're a human, every human with a great brain can do this. It simply needs the consideration. Then we can start to unhook. And the last thing I'll say about this is there will be an emotional charge. Okay. So there'll be a feeling and it might be like, you know, look, I can't earn that much money. I can't charge that much money or I'm running out of money. There's a lot of emotional quality to it. What you're talking about there and what we all have is an existential quality, like right? fear. This means something about me. This means I'm going to have problems or whatever it is. Again, separate it out. Get really clear, like pure water. It's simply transactional. The beliefs are biased from the past. So focus on the present and future because they don't live there. And bringing those together, I trust, will start to clean up your thinking around your beliefs, around money, and how you can behave, think, and earn differently going forward. Let me know how you get on. Take care. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe. And if a friend would benefit from hearing this, do send it on to them as well. If you would like to get in touch yourself, then you can go to my website, which is saljeffries.com, spelled S-A-L-J-E-F-F-E-R-I-E-S, saljeffries.com. Hit the Get In Touch link, and there you can send me a direct message. If you'd like to go one step further and learn whether coaching can help you overcome a challenge or a block in your life, then do reach out and I offer a call where we can discuss how this may be able to help you. Until the next time, take care.